unboxing the Aqua Extreme Raft. <laughs> You're gonna have to overdub this because. Oh, thigh braces. Whoa, they actually can. Inflatable backrest and seat plus a floor. Sick. Inflation bag. Oh. We got uh, all these little loops. Oh, they're plastic, but they're for tight, tying stuff down. So we the shit. And then the big bad boy. <laughs> and oh, and they did give me patch kit. Man, that was quick from Israel. That's like three days or something. Okay. Honestly, like, just buying one of these from Amazon is all you need. Like, the little scales are shit. But, like, just this little hanger thing, you can always, like, probably weigh things pretty accurately. Well, I see why you're cuddling with me at the parents are gone. Yeah, she's a crybaby. I thought she was being particularly sweet, especially like you. No, not at all. <laughs> Four point eight pounds. Oh, well, there you go. So then once you put the stuff on it, it should be just a little over five, I'd guess. Yeah, it's like 4.8 pounds, who gives a shit? And then, uh... Let's check it out. Let's fucking close this thing. I mean, come and feel this thing. It's like not... I don't know what the other pack craft is made of. The floor actually feels good. The whole, the... Uh, I mean, I'm sure that the, the, your brother and everybody is like this too. But the video looks fine for some reason. <laughs> okay. Pump this bad boy up. Bound chicka wow wow. Uh -huh. I've never used like a inflatable bag like this. I have. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. Do you like? Material feels super like not heavy duty, but I could be wrong. You know, you it's just could like, totally be wrong. Can you still see it? Flip in the it frame? sideways. There you go. You can see everything, everything lengthwise. When you yeah, do like the hole is, it's it just feels lightweight. Like I could easily puncture that, but it's probably that way with alpacas and stuff too. But like, yeah, the hole feels pretty stout. We'll see. There's the, there's the bottom. It looks like this is actually like more of a heavy duty nylon. Probably like glue that, this poor seam job there, but. Isn't that maybe what the, is that what the criticisms of it are? Like the seams are poorly done or something? I don't know, the, people said different things. Like yeah, like glue, like they said on the uh, valve, like this thing, you had to glue on. And I have no idea about like this. But this is like the self baler thing. The dude told me that I could just like on there just like make these attachment points for the thigh straps and stuff. These are the thigh straps. And so he gave me these so they can put them in there so that I can like, uh, you know, attach them like here or whatever. I mean, it's like the exact <laughs> same shape as an alpaca classic. Yeah. With the big butt. And it's like long. I'm surprised it is like, like a kayak, you know? Yeah. Or it's only small. This thing is pretty cool. The uh, inflatable. 
beautiful backrest and seat. Can you see it? Yep. That's cool. Here's the floor. Oh, that's how that works. Oh, that's chill. Oh, that's chill. I think I put that under me and then, yeah. How much did this cost you? It's, uh, what, this is $530. Damn, that's cheap. Yeah. I'm about to blow like 2,000 buckos. Yeah, I think like, I just think, yeah, I don't know. Like how you can justify paying that much for a raft, I don't know. Well, I mean, you're gonna have to buy some of that too because I'm still gonna buy, uh, which is like $150. Looks like a good fit. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. This is like a great fit. Put your knees up again. No. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So check it. You got this little thing, you know. It's like, I guess, a, a backrest pillow thing. It's just, it just inflates and it goes in there, you know. And then you got this thing. I mean, what is it? I don't know. And then this thing. So this thing is like sticky. And then this thing is like, you know, more like nylon. It looks like this is here to like keep your butt from sliding. It's more like sticky, but this thing just slides easy. Like I'm putting the same pressure, but it's not sliding. Uh, I don't know. I guess I look. I guess it looks like heavy duty, but compared to like this little raft. Yeah, but it's not Pycalon. You can't compare it to. So, but like this probably weighs as much as this. Yeah. So this is an old like inner tube that I got on the, like the clackness in. But like, yeah, this thing doesn't pop. But like this thing will probably pop. I feel like. I just think like if, if it's the same, I'd like to feel your brother's raft if he has no. I'm Africa. asking him how long he's had it and how durable he thinks it is. His boat. I mean, if it's made out of the same material, like if this is 210 nylon... Then the only thing that can make it shitty is, like, the construction. Yeah, but the construction is just, like, like adhesive and taping these sides. Exactly. So, exa like, I just think that, like, this will not hold for years and years and years. It just doesn't feel like it. Uh, his but. friend Glade has had a boat since 2011. Good. And it's got patch materials. It's got some patches, but it's totally fine. I mean, I guess the thing is about these boats, like any boat, is if it does get a hole in it, you just patch it, I guess. So. Yeah, he said um, the 2011 boat has some, um, some patches, and its butt has scraped through ten dirty trips and some muddy trips. Those are two different rivers. Escalante trips. So now I just have to figure out how to... Lots of butt scrapes, he says. Mm -hmm. So now I just got to figure out how to secure these to the thing. Hold them up to the camera. I mean, it's like, there's just two of these. It's like, kind of just like, I guess it's okay stitching. But it's like that, and then that goes, you know, it's supposed to like go on that, and you secure it tight to the boat. 
on both sides of your leg. It just has like this as an attachment point. Mm -hmm. So I don't fucking know about that. Like this seems like, uh, like the alpaca ones are a little bit way different. Like it's like they actually like probably hold to your, you know, hold your leg up close because you want you want it to be more tight. You know, I think it's like yeah. the wall. You want it to be like not much give. So like with this, like you would want what you would want with this boat is to have it be a self bailer. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, for the most part. And then if it's in a situation where you'd be kind of cold, you can just wear rain pants or something. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't really see the reasoning for stuff that's, you know, more than a self-failure, really. But yeah, so, but now, they gave me these attachment points, and they told me I can just, like, put, like, a... Um, what do you even call it, like a punch, a hole punch, and just go through the yellow floor or whatever, or the orange floor on the bottom, and just go like every four inches or something. And then from there, uh, then I can just, uh, oh, well, they gave me a different colored one. Fixins. Fixins. <laughs> this is true Southern, this is they, that's cute. for Americans, you know, the, the fixins. Um, yeah, and then I just seal it. But yeah, like, the seams are a little shit. Like here, like that one's sealed, kind of. But like this one, it's just overlapping. And this can one's. Can you uh, toughen it up? Yeah, you can just, I can just use aqua seal on it. But I'm thinking, it looks like we have four attachment points for the front for like, you know, putting your bags on or your yep. bike or whatever. But then they gave me extra for like, I think for the thigh for straps. Thigh and I just shit, you know. Will you hold one up to the camera? Well, look, they're different. Um, like these two are the same, and these two are the same. But then we got these two ones that are like, I don't know what they're for, you know? I mean, you could put a strap straight through the... Yeah, but and then this one is like a, there's a pass through, which is weird. Why is it like, butted like that. It's weird. It's like I could also have it go through there. Oh, weird. Okay, can I stop this video? Yeah. I mean, yeah, so they give me all these. They give me four of these style. That's just like a standard, you know, uh, lighting. Lighting's probably horrible, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like that with a little clip. Okay, you can see that. But let's see. Put it down here. Like, you get this kind of thing on the back, and I get four of those. Those are all the same there. And then they yeah, gave, and then they gave me these two yellow ones that are like a thing where I could just strap anything to it. So the or, or orange on one side, and then I could just like little D ring hoops. And then I get two, and then they give me so they give me two of those, and then they give me two of these, which are like it's a different thing where there's like almost like a pass through there that passes through like that and that, but there's still a D-ring clip thing, so all plastic, but I don't know. Do Seems chill. Oh, it's a baby. A baby baby. Hi, baby baby. Hi, baby. Something, Tino. <coughs> You're gonna pop the boat, huh? I'm gonna lock. Go for it. <laughs> 